egg spot. For this project, we'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver and a flat head screwdriver. Before we begin, I always remove the battery and AC adapter. I screwed a single optical drive latch locking screw. Slide the optical drive out of the laptop base. Remove the two hard drive screws. Slide the hard drive out of the laptop. Loosen the single retaining screw on the door. Lift the door from the laptop. Separate the memory retaining clips until the memory stick lifts up. Unscrew the two bottom hinge screws. Remove the seven base screws that hold the touchpad palm rest to the base assembly and loosen the two non-removable PCI slot screws. Unscrew the two hinge screws on the back edge of the laptop. Turn the laptop over and open the display, flattening out as much as possible. On the right side of the power button cover, use a flathead screwdriver to lift and unsnap the power button cover. Working from right to left, unsnap the power button cover and lift away from the laptop. Unscrew the three screws holding the keyboard to the base assembly. Carefully lift the keyboard up, flip it over, and rest it on the palm rest. Unlatch the keyboard cable retaining clip by pivoting the blue clip up. Unplug the keyboard cable by lifting the blue ribbon straight up. Unplug the antenna cables from the wireless cards. Remove the antenna cables and LCD cable from the upper routing channels. Unplug the LCD cable from the motherboard. Lift the LCD display assembly away from the laptop base. Remove the three palm rest screws. Slowly unsnap the touchpad palm rest away from the base assembly. Be very careful, there is a plug that needs to be disconnected underneath the left palm. Slide the touchpad palm rest to the left, exposing the plug. Disconnect the touchpad palm rest plug from the motherboard. Loosen the four heatsink screws. Lift the heatsink off the motherboard. Using a small flat head screwdriver, turn the CPU's processor's lock and screw counterclockwise approximately 180 degrees to unlock the CPU. Next, gently remove the CPU processor. Separate the memory retaining clips until the memory stick lifts up. Press on the clips until the card pivots up. Remove the card from the motherboard. Remove the single retaining screw holding down the modem to the motherboard. Slowly lift the modem from the motherboard and unplug the modem cable.
Remove the four screws holding the PCMCIA assembly to the bottom base assembly. Unplug the PCMCIA cable, remove it from the motherboard. Unplug the speaker cable from the motherboard. Remove the speaker from the bottom base. Unplug the modem circuit board cable. Unplug the main modem cable. Unplug the fan cable. Remove the four screws holding the motherboard to the bottom base assembly. Remove the four motherboard port screws. Remove the motherboard from the bottom base assembly. Remove the single retaining screw securing the cooling fan to the bottom base assembly. Remove the cooling fan. Seat the cooling fan into the bottom base assembly. Secure it with the single retaining screw. Place the motherboard into the bottom base assembly. Secure the motherboard to the bottom base assembly with the four screws. Plug the main modem cable into the motherboard. Plug the modem circuit board cable into the motherboard. Plug the fan cable into the motherboard. Screw in the four port screws. Place the speaker into the bottom base assembly. Plug the speaker cable into the motherboard. Place the PCMCIA assembly on the motherboard. Secure it with the four screws. Plug the modem cable into the modem. Plug the modem into the motherboard. Secure it with the single retaining screw. Slide the card into the mini PCI slot at a 45 degree angle. Press down until you hear a click. Place the memory stick into the memory slot in a 45 degree angle. Press down until you hear the clips click. To replace the CPU, ensure that the CPU pin is aligned with the CPU pins on the slot. Place the CPU into the processor slot. Lock it down by turning the locking screw clockwise. Place the heatsink and tighten down the screws in a numeric order shown on the heatsink. Plug the touchpad palm rest plug into the motherboard located on the left palm.
Place the touchpad palm rest onto the base assembly starting from the bottom, sliding it away forward. Place the three screws on the top of the touchpad palm rest. Plug in the CMOS battery. Place the LCD display assembly into the laptop base. Reroute the antenna cables and LCD cables through the palm rest routing channels. Plug the LCD cable into the motherboard. Connect the antenna cables to the wireless cards. Plug the keyboard cable into the motherboard. Secure the cable with the retaining clip. Flip the keyboard over, replace the three screws. Place the left edge of the power button cover into the laptop and snap into place working your way to the right. Close and flip the laptop over. Replace the two hinge screws on the back edge of the laptop. Replace the seven screws to hold down the touchpad palm rest to the base assembly. Tighten the two non-removable PCI slot screws. Slide the hard drive into the laptop base. Place and secure with the two hard drive screws. Place the memory stick into the memory slot in a 45 degree angle. Press down until you hear the clips click. Place the memory door into the laptop. Screw in the single retaining screw. Slide the optical drive into the laptop base. Lock the latch into the closed position by pressing it in until it clicks. Replace the locking screw. Replace the two hinge screws on the bottom of the laptop. Replace the battery. We hope you found this tutorial useful. All parts discussed in this tutorial can be found at partspeople.com.